Hey guys, LukeMan97 back with another episode in BMNG, BMNG Drive, and I just want to start by apologizing if my voice sounds weird in this video. It's because I've been sick lately, I've had a cold, so my nose is kind of blocked at this at the moment, so um, if my voice sounds weird in the video, that'll be the reason. But anyway, today in this video, I'm going to be covering the update 0.23 in BMNG Drive, which was a major, which is a major update that was released, um, maybe a little less than a week ago. I was at summer camp, so I, thank, sorry guys that I wasn't able to cover it immediately, but anyway, one of these updates is the new grid map. So you guys remember how the old grid map looked. This is the new one. Like, look how much bigger this is. This is huge. And the nice thing is, also, another thing is, everything is labeled. So look, this is called, this is the city here. So if you go here, there's a banner around. Oops. And guess what it says? City. And then over here, remember how they only had those, like, four off-road course things over here? Guess what? They now have more than that. Plus a river's there. And they have other rivers other places, too. And then this is just huge, guys. You should... And over here in the middle of the map, they have this off-road course right here. And this big yellow cube I'm looking at right now has the BeamNG logo on the other side, which is also pretty cool. This cube actually does. But anyway, so that's the grid map remaster. This is the new grid map, and they took away the old one. But if you guys were really in love with the old grid map and really liked it, you can still download the old grid map as a mod, so I will put the link down in the description for that. Anyway, another remaster in this update is the Abishu Widget. It's actually a new ver it's actually a new vehicle added in the update, and it's basically the Abishu Pigeon but as a car version. So it's basically the Abishu Pigeon's smaller and and smaller cousin, but it's a car. So it has pop-up lights like that. And if you go inside, let's see if I can show you guys. Um, you should see this, look at this. Here's the instrument cluster for the pigeon. And I'll just show you how, I mean widgeon, sorry. It says Ibishu Widgen. This is the RPM. This is the miles per hour. I'll show you how it works. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's how the that's how the Widgen's thing works, and that's what it looks like. Here's the gear shift, and I'll show you how it works. Oh, actually, my bad. I don't think the gear shift works, but that's the gear shift visual. And this is actually one of the racing versions of the Widgen. So let's go ahead and go and check out all the versions of the Widgen that are available um, after this update. So we have the Ibishu Widgen down here. And so we have just the regular base, the Sprint, which is a four-wheel variant because it, pro it provides improved handling. There are four wheel variants of the Widgens. The LX, which is nicer wheels, sport exhaust, mud flaps, and extra mirror. Because most, the base Widgen just has one mirror, but the Sprint has two. And then the LX Sprint, which is the four wheel variant of the LX, that makes it more stable. The Pond Skipper, which is a non threatening off road vehicle. That might be a joke, but <laughs> it's an off road version. The Darter, which I have, it's just speedy three-wheeled drag racer, and the Mantis, which is a four-wheeled, um, it's a place with a roll cage. It looks like a pretty good race one. So that's the Widgen, and that's the new vehicle added. So it's basically the Pigeon's smaller cousin, but a car. And now we're going to look at the Abishu Pigeon, because they actually remastered the Pigeon. So, um, as you can see, we have the Actually, that's not the one I wanted to look at. We have the regular pigeon here. <coughs> but now, look, we have four-wheeled versions of the pigeon, which is nice. And that didn't used to be unless you downloaded a mod. But now it's official, which is nice. So now uh, you can have more stability in the pigeon if you want it. 
Let's go ahead and load in the street cleaner and I'll show you what they did in the inside of the pigeon. So yeah, the street through but let's go ahead and look at it. So it's just a regular three wheel. Then if we go inside, they kind of remastered the inside. I I can't exactly tell how they remastered it because it's pretty much the same. But as you can, or I don't know, I didn't really look at the interior too closely. I know this is still the same, the middle speedometer thingy. But they also put, I don't know, they just said they made it better, which is nice because, um, and the four wheeled versions are nice too because now they're official and it gives you like more stability and stuff. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, we have the pigeon. And they also, like, remastered it. They said that they pretty much remastered it from the ground up. So, that's the way, that's what happened to the pigeon. Anyway, another thing they did in this update, which I can't really show you right now, is they added traffic lights. Where, you know, there's already been traffic lights. But, I'm talking about now, the AI... See, this is what I mean about how unstable the pigeon is. So it's nice to have four wheel versions. But anyway, as I was saying, now the AI actually follows traffic lights. The traffic actually follows the traffic lights. So they stop when it's red and go when it's green, which is actually pretty nice if you ask me. And then I don't I think you can just blast through it if you want, but I know that the AI usually stops for the traffic lights. Anyway. Um, oh, another thing that was changed in this update is the oil physics. So, remember how in the old version, when you turned a car on on the upside down, it would starve of oil. But now, if you turn it, oh, the pigeon doesn't want to turn. If you turn it even just on its side, it will starve of oil. Watch. See, oil starvation. Not giving you the smoke, but it says it's starved of oil. So yeah, that's a new thing too. They added oil physics. So now it's now even if it's on its side, it will starve of oil. And and it has now it you can damage the oil pan and stuff like that. And it also has like oil support for different things too, like when you're doing things. But yeah, in, improved oil physics and Another thing they added, I think it was called, let me just check, I think it's called PBR Materials, um, yeah, PBR Materials and Graphics Update, that's what it's called, and it's basically where they updated the vehicles so that it looks more realistic, like in real life, so let's go ahead and change it tonight, um, Okay, so if the sun is setting right now. As you can see, in the now there's shadow. Well, I think there might have been shadows before, but now see it's sort of like reflecting off of here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Yeah, it's sort of reflecting off the front. And it actually gets dark as far as, you know, um before where in the day most of the vehicle was bright but if you go in the shade now it gets dark I think and that's a really nice thing also they added improved ambient lighting for shadowy areas where you know it's it's dark and so they added ambient lighting so it wouldn't be so shadowy let's go ahead and turn the time back but yeah, th this update has fixed a lot of things, and of course there's minor fixes too, like there always is in the update. And another thing is they added three new scenarios, so I'm going to go check those out. I don't have time to play them, but I'm going to show you guys. So we have, not Collect Mountain, we have uh, Goliath was added, which is a semi-truck you have to stop with an SUV, it looks like, which that that's going to be hard if you ask me. But, yeah, and it says difficulty hard. Then there's king size, which you need to retrieve some mattresses in a nearby location. Don't be fooled by their appearance. We were told the previous owner hid quite a sum of cash inside them. Um, 
So this is the king size thing. Let's see. Difficulty, it's a medium difficulty. And then another one which I couldn't find, they said they added a supercar transport, but I haven't seen that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I think that's all from the update. Oh, another thing I didn't mention is, you know, let me load in an, a vehicle where you can see the tires better. So, let's see. If we load in the... Maybe let's load in the Soliad Wendover, but, because that can show us. Um, doesn't really matter. Let's just load in a whatever thing. Loading in. Anyway, I don't cover cover minor updates. I never told you guys about this, but in one of the minor updates, they revamped the tires and the tire physics. So if you look at the tires from before, they were mostly just smooth, which doesn't look very realistic. So now they've put tread in them and made it more realistic by putting tread in it and they also um, <coughs> they also changed the physics so if you like go over a big bump you can actually pop the tires which actually might be something you could have done before I can't remember but yeah it's just they changed the physics and the tire look which that wasn't in this major update but since I don't cover minor updates I thought I might as well just tell you guys in this video also as far as the PBR materials and lighting update in this major update they changed like the paint and stuff so it's more realistic as far as getting sunny and stuff if I had the Antonov AN-12B out which is the big propeller airplane I could show you guys the difference where you can see the sun shining on it but yeah and they added better paint inside too you can kind of it adds better better realisticness as far as the paint and stuff anyway guys that's about all for this video like i said if you want to download the old grid map if you really like the old grid map and you want to download it i will put the link down in the description below so you can just click that and go and download it um I personally, I mean, I might download the old grid map because it was a nice grid map, but it's nice to get a bigger one because, as you guys know, I use the grid map mostly because my computer's garbage right now for this game, so the grid map is the fastest map that loads in the fastest and runs the fastest. So, anyway, like I said, click the link below if you want to download the old grid map. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below once you've subscribed. Ring that bell as hard as you can. Click the all after you've rung it so that you get notifications on my newest videos. Don't forget also just to smash that like button so that people know that you're watching my videos and you like them. Also, throw me a comment down below. If, tell me what you want me to do before and what you guys think of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.